Hi, I'm Jamie from ESL Teacher 365, and I recently got hired to teach online with Preply. In this video, I'll share exactly what the application is like, my sample teacher intro video, how fast I got hired, and some tips for getting started on Preply. Here's a look at the actual application. The first step is to include basic information about yourself, like your country, the languages that you want to teach. Next, you will need to upload a profile photo in JPEG or PNG format. And there are some tips right here on the side to help you when you are making your photo. And I always like to optimize it a little bit in Canva, give it a colored background, or just make sure that it's nice and bright. After that, you'll include your teaching certificate. This could be your TEFL certificate, a teaching license, whatever you have, and you do want to upload a picture of it if you have it. Also include your education. This could be any sort of degree that you have. You can upload your diploma here. And the most important part, your profile. You'll introduce yourself, talk about your teaching experience and have a call to action for your potential students. Here, I recommend looking at other top tutors, profiles and modeling your profile after that. The final step is to create your teacher intro video and I will show you later on how I uploaded mine to YouTube, but you can just create it right in Preply if you don't plan on doing any editing. If you're new to teaching online or abroad and you want some extra help, then fill out my survey, which is linked in the video description and I'll email you back with some helpful tips and links. The first part of your teacher intro video, you want to include your first name only and where you're from, your teaching experience and any qualifications. And I suggest including a specialty, whether it's test prep, business English, whatever you want to include, but make sure it is something specific. Next, share information about your teaching style. If it's methods that you like to use, specific materials, what your students can expect from your classes, and most importantly, what makes you unique as a teacher? How do you stand out? How are you different from other teachers? The last part of your video is to include a strong call to action. Talk about why students should book a lesson, the transformation that you offer students, what they can expect to achieve with you, and most importantly, ask them to take action, whether that's sending a message, booking a class, just make sure you're asking them to take action. Hi, I'm Jamie, an American teacher living in beautiful Australia. I have a master's in education, a CELTA certificate, and a US teaching license. I've helped thousands of students improve their English reading, writing, listening, and speaking skills during the past 15 years in six countries and online. I specialize in test prep English for exams like IELTS, Cambridge, and PTE. If you're ready to improve your English skills and confidence and pass those English language exams, then book a class with me today. See you in the classroom. Another important part of your profile is your thumbnail. So I'm using Canva here with a photo overlaying some text and shapes and using some information about my qualifications to create this for my profile. Here I'll show you how I have created my own video using my camera and then I just uploaded it to YouTube. So let's go ahead and download this because I'm going to use this as my thumbnail for my YouTube video as well as my Preply profile. So I'm going to download this here as a PNG. Once that's ready, I can upload it as the thumbnail for my video. And this video is what is going to be used for my application as well as what is going to be used for my students. And I like to keep it as unlisted this way it's not on my public profile, but people can still access it. So if you're uploading your own video, you will come to a page that looks like this. You're gonna paste the link to your video. This is your YouTube link, and then you'll see that my video appears here. Also, you want to upload your thumbnail. It says optional. I highly recommend doing this because it just helps with getting more eyes on your profile. Everything is ready, so click next. 
After that, you are going to add in your availability. First, make sure that your time zone is correct because your schedule will be shown in your time zone. And then you can set your availability, check off the days you're available, different times. And at this point, I recommend opening as many slots as you can when you're first starting. Finally, pricing. Set your hourly base rate, and there's some information here about the commission rates. The more classes you teach on Preply, the lower their commission is, so that is to incentivize you to teach more on their platform. Finally, you are ready to go and apply. I opened my email and found out that I was approved to teach on Preply. If you're new to teaching on Preply or other online teaching marketplaces, then here are some general tips to help you get started and get more enrollments. My first tip would be to start teaching at a lower rate and then as you gain reviews and you teach more students, then start increasing your prices. To give you an example, I used to charge $8 per 30 minute class per student on OutSchool. And now a few years later, I am now charging $16 per student per 30 minute lesson. I slowly increased my rates $1 at a time as I gained more reviews. And I will say that the jump from maybe $10 to $12 or even 10 to $14, I did actually have an increase in enrollments. Maybe the families were assuming that this would be a high quality class as compared to other ones. It's really a little bit of trial and error, but I will say the opposite is true too. If you are pricing your classes too low, then families or students are going to look at it and say, maybe this teacher isn't qualified or they're not very high quality classes. So start at the lower to medium range, but do work on increasing your prices slowly. Another aspect of gaining enrollments, getting more students, is making sure you have a high quality thumbnail image. So that is just the picture for your class that they will see when they're scrolling through these different marketplaces or profiles and optimizing the profile. You want to have it completely filled out, make sure there are no grammatical errors, just take a look and send it to a few people, see if they can give you some advice on things to change. But you can tell that when a teacher has a high quality video or image or profile, they are going to attract students more because it looks like they've put the time into it. It's going to be a better experience. So take the time, really optimize your profile and that will help you with your enrollments. For my language teachers, a tip is to really make sure that you're keeping your target student in mind and their language level. If you want to teach beginners, you don't want to have overly complicated language in your profile or your video. You need to speak to your target student, so grade your language and keep that in mind. If you want to teach on Preply or other online teaching marketplaces, I suggest going to the website and pretending you're a student and looking at the different tutor profiles. Find some of the top profiles by looking at how many stars they have or how many students they've taught, how many lessons have been completed and see what is making these top tutors get all these students. Is it their video? Is it their profile? And then you want to take some inspiration. Obviously don't copy what they have, but take some inspiration and then think of how you can put your own unique twist on it. And finally, my last tip for teaching on online teaching marketplaces like Preply would be to open up as many time slots as you can. You want to get an idea of which times are popular and this can help you set up your schedule later on, but you know that those are good times for enrollments. So open up that schedule when you're first starting and then you can always close it off if you see some times that aren't as popular. If you're ready to apply to teach on Preply, I will leave the application link in the video description. You can follow me on Instagram at ESLteacher365. And if you'd like to learn how to teach on Cambly, then you can watch this video next. Happy teaching.